everybody. Thank you for coming down this beautiful Tuesday evening. Um, on behalf of the casting crew, I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, this is the premiere performance of And I Alone. And I Alone is part of a theater challenge, 30 day theater challenge. Everything you see was written, directed, casted, acted, performed, everything within 30 days. Um, this performance is being recorded, so you can please turn off all your cell phones. There is no videography or photography. Also, please do not use the, the nursery during the performance. It's a one-act performance, so it will only run about 45 minutes. Um, there are only two blackouts. Just to note, the first one is in the middle of the show, so you don't have to stand up and leave. The second one, after the second blackout, the cast, cast will come out and um, give a bow. So. I'd like to pray and then we'll begin. Yeah. Father, we thank you so much for the gift of stories and for the power that they bring. We thank you for your message of salvation, hope, and mercy that you share with your people. Thank you for thank you for your blessing on us. May this, may this story impact us, our lives, and how we see you. I pray in Yeshua's name. Amen. Please enjoy and I alone. show you how proud we are of you and so we got you a little something Thank you, 
a tree? Sure. tomorrow morning I've got the Old Testament class and then I've got uh, worship during the prayer circle. And and uh, see our men's meeting this month is in the evening. So I gotta be in the pastor's office by about six. Will I work for dinner? This week is so bad. Um I got the birth execs here all day Monday. Belgium will be in to tour the plant on Tuesday. Um, I've got to run into Washington Wednesday evening to meet with Fred and two senators from Tennessee. But that's the only night I won't be home for dinner. This is one of whom I can say he is blameless and upright. He does everything out of reverence. He turns away from evil. Well, naturally, he prays for a blessing and you bless him. He prays for a hedge of protection and you hedge him in. He prays for his workers, his business. What else could he possibly ask for? But if you were to remove your hand from him and touch him for evil, well then, we'd see his true colors. Ah, oh, well. Very well. What he has is placed in your power. But do not put your hand on him. Come in. Oh, hey, Pastor. I know I'm a little early. Oh, no problem. Come on in. I just have to finish this up. Hey, coffee? Oh, no thanks. <clears throat> you know, you got to get a computer one of these days, Pastor. <laughs> Mr. Williams? Uh, that's me. There seems to have been a fire at your residence, sir. It's a total loss. Uh, my family? It, what? It, is everyone... Everyone's fine, sir. Your wife said you'd be here. We transported everyone to the ER. They should be checked over and released probably right about now. No one was hurt. Oh, thank you, Father, for protecting Trisha and the children. We thank you so much, Father. Oh, we thank you, Father. Amen. Oh, a complete loss. I don't understand how this could happen. I mean, we had, we had smoke detectors and fire extinguishers and... The chief can't quite explain this one, sir. It seems to have been unnaturally accelerated. Our canines checked the ground and couldn't detect any signs of an accelerator. There's no other explanation. It's... Well, I want to thank you for your service to the community, sir, and in coming down here. Thank you. We lost. Now, Sean, it's just stuff. You'll get more. You know, and the important thing is, everyone was safe. It's not the stuff. It's it's the it's the memories. You know, the little things like you know Sydney's uh, you know wall drawing and the, the children's growth marks on our bedroom door. And I just keep rallying my old army guys and Zachary's train collection. And I got to get to the ER. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, let me call Dave to take you over down here, and and I'll run you right in. Fred? Sean? I don't know what to say. I couldn't stop it. It was like this gorilla attack out of nowhere. They got it all. Uh, Fred, you got, what are you talking about? Got what? A takeover, a hostile bid. It came out of nowhere. Somehow it went through. They got it all. Belgium, Perth, U.S. Holdings. It makes no sense. I'm telling you, it came out of nowhere. And then there's some lawsuit. The money's going to be tied up in the courts for years. Sean, I don't know how to tell you this. There's nothing. All gone. Sean, Sean, what, what's, are you all right? My business, it's all gone. 
Your business? Sean! Oh. Sean, we're okay. We're all okay. Kirsty came and got the kids and now we're fine. We're all fine. Trisha, Sean just got a phone call. I don't... I don't know how to tell you this. His business... It, it's gone, Trish. Everything. It's all gone. So you've come back. Have you been watching, Sean? You incited me to allow you to put what he has in your hand, to destroy without cause. And yet, even though he thinks I am against him, even allowing the death of his firstborn, he remains blameless and upright. He does not speak against me. <coughs> What's a business? What's a house? You want to know if Sean is really righteous? Test him. Really test him. Put forth your hand and touch his flesh and bone, and he'll curse you to your face. So be it. You may put forth your hand to his bone and to his flesh, only touch not his life. Browse around. <clears throat> like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him, firm in faith, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. But why? Why us, Sean? Just want my boy back. Trish, is everything okay? What, what's the matter? I don't know, sure. I don't know. What happened? What happened? Can I do something? No. No, God, no! Not this day and everything else! You can't! You can't have me! No! No! I have a comforting word for you. I was meditating in my bed and I felt a voice. And in my spirit I heard this. Can a man be pure before his maker? Man is feeble. His foundation is in the dust. People are not innocent before God, Sean. Look, whoever perished being innocent? 
Show me an upright man who was ever destroyed. It's those who sow trouble and iniquity who are destroyed by the breath of God. I know it. I've seen it. If it were me, I would seek God. <laughs> Sean, you are being disciplined by the Almighty. <laughs> what a blessing to be corrected by Almighty God. He wounds and then he heals. His strong arm is mighty to save. He rescues the feeble. And, and then your sin will be cast far away. You'll be kept away from pain and suffering. He'll hide you within his will. And you won't fear violence anymore. We know that he prospers the righteous. He protects them from all wrong. I've been pastoring for more than 25 years, Sean. I have seen it all. Trish took the kids to her mom's after the baby died. I couldn't stop her. And I'm alone and left here to bleed. Bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, Ken. What do I have left to live for? Why doesn't God just let me die? God wants to restore you, Sean. He has abundance stacked up waiting for you. You're not in control. God is. You know as well as I do that suffering is the lot of sinners. So show me what I did wrong. I, my words have never denied God. Have you put your trust in riches, my friend? Sean, I am here for you. You can tell me anything. God knows I have heard it all. God is correcting you. Submit patiently. Make your, your sins known, confess them, and God will be merciful. I can't take this. How can you tell me I need to confess? I, you know me. I, I've, you, you know me. I, I, I've done nothing wrong. and I, You tell me I need to confess? I'm in agony here. Just leave me alone and let me die. If you had any sense, you would get yourself up out of that pit and start praising the Father. You have to remember your witness, Sean. All this complaining about how hard life is, that is not from God. Your troubles come from your secret sins. The Bible even tells us that. Now, I'm not here to judge you. I don't have to. It's your mouth that can witnesses against you. Are God's consolations too little for you? Let me tell you something, brother. It is the wicked man who writhes in his ag agony. If you continue in this wickedness, how will you ever prosper again? Our help comes from the Lord. Repent, repent and confess. But I have not sinned against my God. I just can't stuff this grief in anymore. I just can't. Oh, hey. It is good to see you. I am so glad. How was your flight, Ryan? Can't complain. I mean, he always run late. And I don't know how they can call that business class, but, you know, it is what it is. How's Sean? Oh, he is in a bad way. Pastor. Oh, Dylan. Ryan, it's good to see you again. So good of you to come, too. What happened? Oh, it is just awful. He lost the house, and then the business, and then... Oh, my. You, you probably heard about Zachary and the baby, didn't you? I heard it all. I just can't believe it. Yeah, it seems impossible somehow. I mean, this is Sean. Look, why don't you guys go and try to talk to him? He won't listen to me. Okay, whatever you say. Pray for us. Oh, God. I'm so desperate and confused. Ken wants me to confess something, but you know I'm innocent. God, please help me. Sean? Oh, Ryan, it's you. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm a mess here. I just, I never knew you could survive this kind of pain. I, I just, everything's gone and I don't know where to turn. 
days are just pain and nights are nightmares. It just hurts so bad. Sean, what, what happened? What did you do? Do? Me? Uh, you know me, Ryan. What have I ever done? Well, yeah, but look at this. Look at you. I mean, God just doesn't punish an innocent man. All the teachings are clear on this. God doesn't punish the innocent, and he doesn't help the sinner until he repents. Ryan, God gives and God takes away. Who am I to say, hey, you can't do that? Ah, <sighs> but as God is my witness, Ryan, he has wounded me without cause. Now, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he will take his stand on the earth, and I will see him in my flesh. <sighs> but I'm just so overwhelmed. I just gotta say, you keep claiming your innocence, but Sean, really, you claim the way his righteousness, but how do you know? If you heard from heaven right now, what do you think you'd hear? Well, obviously, I think I'd hear you're right. <sighs> Seriously, Sean? Come on. Don't you think he'd say your wealth, your power, your pride, I'll write you down? It's the wicked that are cut down in their prime. It's greed, isn't it? Always gotta have more and more, never satisfied. God sees that, Sean, and he strikes sinners down. He takes everything, home, business, property. It'll all be gone because that's what God has in store for evil, wicked, rich. You think you're so wise with all your answers, but it's so so easy for you to just sit there in the comfort of your unshaken world and condemn me. Look, Sean, I'm worried about you. I hear what you're saying, but you can't hide from God. He knows. Unconfessed sin is like a cancer in your soul. Look at the Old Testament. I mean, Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed them completely. He cut off the inheritance of their wicked kings. God, their children all died. If you turn your back on God, he'll take everything. But, but those people did everything wrong, Ryan. Look, God is in control. As hard as it is, it is God's good will to take Zachary to himself. Look, no one is innocent, Sean. No one is pure. You just have to turn back to Him. Confess your sins and serve only the Lord. I'm not guilty. I've, what difference does it make? I've tried to act as if nothing has happened and put it all behind me and walk it off. But I can't prove my innocence. God obviously believes I'm still guilty and I alone know that I'm not. Look, Sean, you know as well as I do that God prospers the righteous. Do the right thing, and he'll give you pleasure and plenty and enough peace to enjoy it. Did you come all this way just to insult me? What kind of comfort is this? No, no, that's not what I meant. Surrender to God, Sean. Give up whatever the sin is. Then you won't be ashamed. Put all this behind you. Everything will be all right. Rest and relax, man. No worries. Everyone will respect you again. I mean, just thinking about Sean right now. Don't you think I know how the world sees me? It, just to be clear, I'm not complaining to the world. What do they know? What do you know? I'm, I am, I'm not arguing my case with you. I'm pleading with God Almighty. Oh God, you may choose to kill me too, but I will still put my trust in you. I mean, there, there is hope for a tree if it's cut down that it will sprout again. God, hide me. Hide me in the depths of the earth. And when your anger is done, please come rescue me. Sean? Oh, Sean, I am so sorry for you. For everything you lost, I just... Uh, Cheyenne, that's nice. Uh, uh, please, uh, here. Here, have a seat. Oh. You know, Sean, I would be eternally grateful to you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be lost out there in Babylon. It's been six months, six amazing months of being loved by the creator of the universe. God gave me the breath of life, and then he filled me with the breath of his spirit. I just drink to the fountain of wisdom every day. That, that's good, Cheyenne. You, you have quite a testimony. Oh, and so will you, Sean. My heart is just so wounded for you. How's your wife doing? 
Uh, well, you know, it's been it's been really tough, and uh, yeah, it's just been really really hard on us. Oh, God speaks in such different ways to us. Sometimes we don't even know it's Him. Like with me, I was so sick, couldn't sleep. Even the doctors gave up, and then. Bam! God just swooped in, saved me from death, forgave me so much, I can't even tell you. Sean, he is mighty to save. He really is. I've never doubted it. Um, and, you know, I, I just, uh, I've always just wanted to be righteous before him and, and know his purpose in my life. And I need a lawyer to take my case here. Do you make the rules? God is in control, Sean. He always treats everyone the way they deserve, right? Yeah. I am so praying for you. I, I appreciate the prayers. Uh, absolutely. I'm sure when you had troubles, you used to pray, right? Um, you used to ask for help in hard times back in the day. And then this thief comes in. Success, right? And everything just goes along so smoothly. It's so easy to forget who gave it all to you. No, 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 no. no. I get it. You got so busy. But Sean, a God is just, he's what? right there. Okay, just hang on, Sean. Uh, this goes straight from the Father. I'm speaking truth here. Uh, God is always fair. He always punishes the sinners and prospers the good. For us. Sure, I am. Uh, repent, Sean. God wants to spread a feast for you. He's telling you, your honor, your power, your riches, they can't protect you. Be on your guard. Repent, Sean. God telling you straight from the Father. Sure, I am. Cheyenne, please, I have not done anything wrong, and I'm not about to start with you. Oh. My. You are so... You think you know so much. You are so puffed up with pride. I meant it, Sean. Fear God and repent. God. You know that I've not wronged anyone. I haven't disobeyed you or even wanted to. I haven't been dishonest. I haven't stolen. I haven't even looked at another woman other than Trish. And I alone, I alone, I, I am alone. God, why don't you hear me? alone. I am. Sean, I am in control. You have been talking about things that you just don't understand. But I will help you. I love you. Sean, I created Earth. Put the sea in place. Everything. I took care of the, the animals too. You don't have a problem with my creation, do you? You ask, do you hear me? I tell you absolutely, yes. I surrender all, all of it. I have no more words. I am in charge. You do realize that two sparrows sold for one coin, but two coins, you could get five. I didn't lose track of any of them. Sean? Even though the enemy meant evil for you, even though he, I gave him permission to put you through these trials, I knew these trials, that they would serve to help you grow in your faith. Now you have an enemy. You don't, you cannot even prepare to work with this man. You are not prepared to deal with him. He will not surrender to you. And you cannot battle with him in your own strength. Mm -mm. Not again, not twice.
That's for sure. I contend with him. He was so sure that he could turn you. He was so sure that he could bargain with me. He lost. It's all mine anyway, Sean. Your babies, your babies aren't lost. They're here. They're waiting for you. Just like everyone at Trisha's mom. I am here for you. I am here. Out of nothing and chaos, I created everything. Don't you know that I can create purpose out of the nothingness and chaos of your life? Yes, you were touched by agony and despair. Take comfort from me. Take peace from me. Yes, what the enemy meant for evil, what he meant for evil, I will turn to good. The answer for your pain is always simply this. Endure. That's how you learn to trust me for that which you do not and may never know. You alone. My eye, I had heard, but now my eye sees you. Thank you so much for your comfort and your peace. I repent. You three, you were so wrong. I will not punish Sean because what he said was true. You will apologize to him and you will ask him to pray for you. Sean, I am so sorry. Sean, please pray for me. Sean, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Will you pray for me too? Uh, me too, I... I'm so wrong. You're right. I apologize. Thank you. Oh, I am so blessed. Thank you, God. And in the midst of our suffering, sometimes it may feel like God is not good. And sometimes our friends may tell us that our suffering is proof that God does not love us. But that's a lie. God does love us. He's not come to steal, kill, or destroy. But that stuff still happens sometimes, doesn't it? It doesn't mean that God doesn't love us. In fact, His Word says, and steadfast love will never, ever, 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 ever fail, no matter what the enemy can do. And even when it hurts, God is there. We may not know what the future holds, because the hidden things belong to God. But He has given us His presence and His Word. And He has given these things to us for a heritage, for us, for you, for your children. And we can choose to walk and obey His commandments and walk in paths of righteousness. God is always with us and we are never alone. So, have you seen Sean lately? <laughs>
so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Uh, Kat will be back in yeah. so far if we want to talk to them after this. All right, thank you so much for coming, everyone. Have a good evening. <laughs> Patient endurance, patient endurance, and faithfulness on the part of God's people. Thank you, brother. The real church will rise again. Thank you. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. Get in the air! Put your jaw! Don't drop me! Don't let you fool you the thoughts of God. You are under arrest for unlawful possession of blame disrespecting the word of God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in history, the world is at peace because we are all united in following God. As the scripture says, if you fear the Lord and serve and obey Him and do not rebel against His commands, and if both you and the King who reign over you, obey the Lord your God. He will bless you with peace. We no longer blaspheme the name of God by allowing sinful men to twist the meaning of his holy words for their own evil desires. Only your king, the most pure Belial, interprets the holy word of God. And because we have kept his scriptures pure, God has blessed us with peace. But there are some among you who are not of God, but of the devil, seeking to read his holy scriptures in their sinful and wretched state in order to preserve the peace that God has blessed us with. We must not allow this abomination. As the scripture says, but if you do not obey the Lord, and if you rebel against his commands, his hand will be against you, as it was against our ancestors. Someone among you has been creating perverted distortions of God's word in an attempt to poison the mind of the weak. We must not allow this abomination. As the scripture says, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and cast it away. In the same way, we have cast away the Bibles that cause you to sin, so that you may sin no more. Therefore, we must not allow this evil abomination. But, because God is merciful, He will allow you to live. He will finish it, that you will return to following Him. And tell us who it was that gave you this vile abomination. So be it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressor shall be rooted out of it.
I salvaged this when I burned my Bibles three years ago. I want you to have it. That's almost all of Nahum to Zechariah. That's all you need. You mean, to finish it? What now? Now, I believe every computer in the world, everyone, can see the truth. You can't do that. So block it. I'm gonna kill you. Well, that's what we have to do. They're computers. You mean, yes. That's impossible. One of the control centers is an old farmhouse to get rid of it. Holding any guards, the control room is still functioning. I'll go with you. No. I need you to stay here and keep this puppy safe. This fails. I need you to get copies of this. Everyone you can. Be careful. Innocent immigrant children are suffering in Venezuela, and this is how we respond? McPatty's buys a new ice cream machine, and people bet in the biggest game of will it, won't it work. This is what we're concerned with? I'm just saying, her children people will buy anything from you if you're charming enough. Yeah, I guess, if you don't want a respectable job. I mean, it makes me cash and I never get embarrassed. Okay, I might as well tell you all why I brought you here tonight. Oh brother, here we go. Yay, another Zoe idea. 
Come on, this is gonna be exciting. We're going to Washington, D.C., and you all are coming with me. Zoe, no, I veto this idea. Come on, this is gonna be fun. We're going to the March for Life, and you can't sacrifice a few days of your mediocre life to support unborn American children? Right, Liv? Yeah, absolutely. I'll totally go along. So, it's just a road trip with the four of us? Sounds fun. Let's take my car. Great. Count me out. Come on, Daniel. You want to go with us? Oh, no. You're not guilt tripping me into going along with another one of your crazy schemes. Dude, just come. We both know you don't have anything more entertaining to do when I'm not around. And it would look really good on our Instagrams. We're going to go halfway across the country without parental supervision, hang out with passionate political advocates, sleep in a car all weekend, and you're acting like this is a bad idea? I'm acting like something's gonna go terribly wrong, which it will. You three are gonna get lost or kidnapped or something. Wait, are all three of you actually going on this trip? Mm -hmm. Sounds like, like it. it. Oh boy, I guess someone has to provide a guiding hand and make sure you all stay alive. I knew it. Sounds noble of you. Great, bring money to cover expenses, everybody. Well, look who has arrived. Hey guys, let's get this party started. Titus, what are you doing? You said we were taking your car. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Uh, do you want the bad news or the bad news first? Why aren't you over hip sunshine this morning? So, my dad didn't exactly want me to take my car. Awesome. So, does that mean we have a vehicle now, or...? Yeah, my aunt's loaning us her vehicle. Wait, why do you think that's bad news? Uh, you'll see. She's dropping it off soon. Well, guys, our carriage has arrived. This? Well, hey, at least it has lots of room. You know what kind of gas mileage these things get? A 2017 Ford 12 passenger van gets about 12 miles per gallon. Judging by the age and condition of this vehicle, I'd say... This trip is going to be a blast. My aunt said we can have free use of the vehicle and anything we find inside. Hey, at least we have a vehicle to go in. Count your blessings and help me load up. Oh, what is that smell? An entire carton of rotten eggs. Oh. Not all the marchers get a ride in style like we do. Um, guys, I only have enough money for a quarter tank of gas. What do you guys think bring money to cover expenses means? I mean, you said bring money, so I brought money. Was $10 not enough? Well, his plus my five makes 15. I guess it does have to be a little thrifty. I brought enough money to cover my share of gas and donation money for pro-life groups, and you guys brought pocket change? Not all of us. One wise soul brought a decent amount of cash and a debit card. That should give you a few more miles so you don't all starve out here in the wilderness. But don't expect me to be your Uncle Moneybags funding your every whim. See guys, I was thinking. That's rude, you know. No, it's actually quite biblical. Did you know that there are over 25 verses in the Bible about being prepared? The Bible also says pride goes before fall, buddy. something in here we can sell for a little extra money since we don't have the debit card. I guess that's true. All right guys, let's start digging. Hey, here's a box of junk that looks antique. Antique junk? Yeah, that can make us a lot of money. Here, let me look. Books, perfect. I know how to get these sold off. Just follow my lead. Either. Maybe we're missing our target demographic. Let's try going down a few blocks to another part of town. I guess this is just as good a house as any.
try again. I believe one knock is always sufficient before. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Could we interest you in some books? This one's a collector's item. It's called The Man Who Laid an Egg. What? How about this one? It's called The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. Um, I don't think I need to buy any books today, kids. Please, ma'am, we just need money to make it to D.C. Won't you help us out? Yes, we put so much into this trip, and now we have nothing. Well, why don't you all come in? We can discuss it over some warm cookies and milk. I can't believe Mrs. Harbottle is letting us spend the night here. I know. Do you think it's safe? I mean, she seems nice enough. Besides, how do you just get an old cat lady in a house with full of antiques be? I mean, you do have a point. All oh, some of those antiques, they're terrifying. <laughs> do you ever feel awkward about how loud you are with your beliefs? Why would I? I'm standing for people less fortunate than me. Yeah, but what if everybody would disagree with you? I mean, I'm still standing for a good cause. Don't you think that justifies me? I mean, I'm helping those less fortunate me. Won't you support me if I fight for them? But God always supports his children. This is as far as I can go without directions. Do we have a map or something? Yeah, I actually just bought one at the gas station. Why'd you waste our food money on that? I brought my GPS. Excuse me, what's wrong with my map? You forget that with me along, we don't need it. Here, I'll drive. Titus, that thing looks like it's from the last decade. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have an accurate idea of what roads are. And who appointed you navigational expert? It's gonna be fine. No offense, but I don't think this is the fastest way to Washington, D.C. Hey, this GPS is the best brand on the market. It's taking us straight there. You'll see. Titus, unless this is the Potomac, get out of this vehicle and throw that GPS away. And then get in the back seat. I'm driving. Hey Titus, what highway are we by right now? Oh, don't ask me. I'm no navigational expert. Hey Titus, it's not your fault that the GPS was junk. Hey, my GPS was not junk. It just wasn't updated properly. Titus, why are you so desperate to be right about everything? Hey, I'm not desperate. It just comes naturally, I guess. Cut it out, man. You don't have to be in charge every hour of the day. Yes, yeah, says mister. I'm going to save everyone and keep them in line. And we'd totally die if you weren't here to protect us. Okay, guys, we get it. You're both Superman. Come on, break's over. Guys, the van battery is dead. My battery is dead. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, the van's battery is dead? Uh, I just want to go home. Well, you can't, because the van's battery is dead. <sighs> Does not have money to pay for repairs? You are correct. Yeah, since Mr. I'm keeping us all alive forgot his debit card in McCat McPatties. Does no one have AAA? Correct again. Thanks for your help, Daniel. So let's get this straight. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere, after dark, in a random rest stop, with no money, no phone service, and a dead man. Okay, Zoe, don't pretend like this isn't your fault. If you hadn't dragged all of us around into your stupid causes, we wouldn't be in this situation. Come on, can't you sacrifice for such an important cause? Your causes aren't as holy and noble as you think. What's wrong with my cause? What's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? I care about people less fortunate. Yeah, that's all you ever do. Don't you realize that there's other things you could be doing too? You don't think that makes me a good person? Well, you probably support abortion or something. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I just realize it's more complicated than you think. Children are being brutally murdered and you call it complicated? Babies just like, just like this are being poisoned. Their limbs ripped okay, apart. Okay, don't talk to me with an object lesson of your stupid right-wing propaganda. I just see the other perspective, okay? Who's opinion? Look. Much as I'd like to state, 
and argue about how wrong you are, you're stuck in the middle of nowhere with a dysfunctional vehicle. Let's focus on a solution. So you want us to go look for the junk in the van and see if we can find something useful? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. I bet we'll find a spare battery lying around. You have a better idea? Let's divide up the van and look for stuff. I call not the glove compartment. Did you make me look through the seats? Guys, this is a home place. I wish I would have never come. How about we go outside for some fresh air? Yeah, who's gonna find a random car battery lying around anyways? Wait. Look under the back seat on the left side. things happening in Bible times. I thought everything today was just explainable by science. Well, I've never seen a God thing before, but from what I've heard, they're not logical. Excuse me, sir. Is this the event registration building? Uh, yes, it is. Are you a farmer or a breeder? Of what? Sheep. This is the National Sheep Farmer Expo. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you tell me where the March for Life headquarters is? Sorry, the march ended about six hours ago. They just finished tearing everything down. Hey, now we don't have to yell and wave signs for hours. Maybe God things still do happen. I guess there's no proof to say that they don't. Um, I'm pretty sure God had nothing to do with this. I do a good deed, God makes it work out. That's how things are supposed to work. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this was a good idea, but I don't think we had the relationship with God or each other to back it up. Maybe not. You know what a Titus thing would be? To eat at a nice restaurant. It's not in the budget. We make it all the way here and we don't really even have money to eat. We could if we found something to sell. This. A toy with two broken legs. Antique junk. It'll make us a fortune. Hey Lucy, are you okay? Lucy! Too bad. I mean, the nurse was pretty sweet. Hey, how, how are you? Fine. I'm fine. Huh. 
Let me guess. It's my fault, right? I wasn't going to- I saved his life, Izzy. I know, Lucy. I know. Do you... Do you want to talk about Samantha? Not really. I saved one life. Isn't... Isn't that enough? How could you say that? Say what? You want me to be everywhere at once? I, I want you to be where you should be. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. It's not about being perfect. If I hadn't been there, then what? I don't know. It's about being ready. Doing what you're supposed to. Supposed to do. So I shouldn't have pushed Joey out of the way of a moving car. Is that what you're saying? No, of course not. Yes. Yes, you should have done that. But it doesn't justify leaving Sam when you should have gone to her. What are you now? God's spokesman? You didn't know she was going to do that. Neither did you, which is why you should have been there. You don't even know if I could have saved her. You could have tried. She would have listened to you. She would have talked to you. Izzy, that is all she would have done. Talk, talk, talk. When was I supposed to get a break? She's dead, Lucy. Well, I didn't see you doing any good. What? Where were you, Miss High and Mighty? How come you couldn't save her? I couldn't get to her in time, remember? Yeah, you tried. And what did that do? I tried. Which kid is your favorite? <laughs> Joey. That kid has the most adorable eyes. Right? I mean, Amy's kind of... Oh, uh, could you hang on for a second? What's up? Nothing. Do you want to go back? Yeah, sure. Why not? Izzy, she always complains. You know that. Always crisis and drama. Sam thinks you're her best friend. Yeah. I think it's because I'm the only one that listens to her. Well, doesn't that mean anything? Yeah. I mean, sometimes I want to go to church and not babysit her. Well, maybe if we both go, we could... Izzy. No. I'm up for it. Look, we can either listen to her complain all night, or we can go to church and do something useful. Anyway, wasn't it you who suggested we go help with the kids in the first place? James, pull over. Pull over? Why? Just pull over. What are you doing? I'm gonna go help her. Easy. And I think you should too. Lucy, I mean it. Now can we go back or am I going to have to walk? Fine. Look, Lucy, if you want to, we can... I don't. We can all go if you... Just... Just go. saved one life. Isn't that enough? I... 
Hey, Lucy. Mr. Franklin's here to see you. Hi, Lucy. Sorry to surprise you like this. I'm Samantha's dad. Sam always said you were her best friend. Thank you. Why? She didn't have many friends. You meant the world to her. Well, I... I'll leave you alone. It was my fault. Sam texted me last night. She wanted to meet. I, I didn't want to. If I had known... No one could have known. Lucy, you couldn't have known. But I left her alone. I knew. I knew she needed me and I didn't go. And I... I don't know. Maybe I could have saved her. <laughs> Samantha never really shared much with me. I guess I just... Just always thought she's a teenager. It was a phase. So I never really... Open that book. I guess I just think what would it have taken for her to know she was safe? There's always a what if. I can't stop time. But I. I can only trust that there was a purpose. And life can go on. And we can learn from it. So what do I do now? Listen. For when God speaks. And the next time. I am so sorry. You are forgiven, Lucy. So, Dan... Oh, here it comes. Yeah. He's serious. You need to go. Thanks. We've got to go now.
think our little night owl is still up? I don't know. But really. Yep. I think that's everything. Just one more thing. Han? It's not your fault. I know. That's what makes it so hard. Mm. <laughs> Let's set up camp tomorrow. Sleeping in here won't kill us. Don't go too far. I would ask how you're doing, but I'd like to think I know you better than that. It's just a lot. Maybe a walk will clear your head. Clearing my head won't make this easier. Come on. Hey, Dad, can I see that book? How does that prove that your boss is embezzling? Embezzling. You know, that's just it. It doesn't prove anything. We don't have enough evidence. Yet. We're not safe. It's a squirrel! Lily. Well, what happened? It's not broken. But it could have been. Damn. Why did I have to find this thing? What do you fear? Leaving you two alone. But we're not alone. It's terrible. Listen. Who should you fear? He who corrupts justice? Or he who demands it?
Is he still in? He just left, but could be back in a minute. Thank you. You just couldn't stay away, could you? Terrence, we need to talk. No. No, we don't. I warned you. You come back and... Well, there's really only one way this could go. It doesn't have to be like this. Stop rebelling against the I'm law. I'm not here for a Bible study. Give me that. Right now. He doesn't do anything here. It's too much surveillance. Well, like I can mess with the books. I can't mess with a few security cameras. You really are daft. What happened to you? Well, nothing happened to me. I achieved it all. <laughs> and I am not letting you end it. You made my job easy. Where? Where? Where is it? Yeah. And this way. Yeah. Uh, one. Two. This is the police. Put your hands in the air. You're under arrest. This worked. <laughs> uh huh. Huh. What? I'd like to ask how you are, but I'd also like to think I know you better than that. <laughs> so it's over? Well, I say we got him. <laughs>